Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss approximation algorithm for traveling salesman problem. So, already we have completed backtracking techniques and branch and bound techniques. So, the next topic we will discuss here is approximation algorithm for traveling salesman problem. The traveling salesman problem and knapsack problem if we are considering this comes under the category combinatorial problems. Combinatorial problems are usually very difficult to solve to get exact solution. So here this traveling salesman problem can also be solved approximately using the following two algorithms. One is nearest neighbor algorithm and twice around the tree algorithm. In this session we will discuss nearest neighbor algorithm. So the idea of nearest neighbor algorithm is it always goes to nearest unvisited city next. So what is traveling salesman problem first? Among the given cities the salesman has to start from one city that will be considered as a starting city. From that city he has to visit all other cities exactly only once and finally he has to return back to the starting city. And here the constraint is the cost of traveling or visiting the cities should be minimum. Okay, that is the constraint. So, in nearest neighbor algorithm, idea is always goes to nearest unvisited city next. If you are visiting the current city and the nearby city is not visited in the sense, choose the nearest unvisited city next. And here this nearest neighbor algorithm will implement a simple greedy technique. That is step 1. Choose the arbitrary city as the starting point. As like in traveling salesman problem, one city we have to consider as the starting city. So, arbitrarily we have to choose one starting point or starting city. Okay. Step 2 is repeat unvisited city nearest to the one visited last. So, what is the city you have visited last? Choose the unvisited city next to it. Okay, until all the cities have been visited. Process will continue until all the cities will be visited. So, repeat unvisited city nearest to the one visited last until all the cities have been visited. Then, step 3, return to the starting city. Once you have visited all the cities exactly only once, return back to the starting city. See here, visited city you should not visit again. Okay, problem is. Solve the following instance of the traveling salesman problem using nearest neighbor algorithm. So, this is the given graph and they have given the cost to travel from one city to another city also. So, for this problem, we will implement the nearest neighbor algorithm. So, first we have to choose the starting city. So, here usually we will start with the starting vertex that will be in alphabetical order. So, here A will be considered as the starting vertex. So, start with vertex A, okay. Next, from A, if you are considering in the sense, nearest neighbor is B, C and D. So, nearest neighbor from A, if you are considering in the sense, B, C as well as D, all three cities are near to A. But, we have to choose the one with the least cost. Okay, so here A to B cost is 1, A to D cost is 3, A to C cost is 6. So, we will choose A to B cost is 1. Okay, next from B. So, from B, unvisited nearest neighbor if you are considering in the sense C and D. So, both C and D is there. Okay, so B to D cost is 2, B to C cost is 3. So, which one we will choose? B to D. Cost is, so here we will choose B to D and that cost is nothing but 2. B to C cost is 3. Okay, next. From D, nearest neighbor is only C. Okay, so choose D to C cost is 1. D to C cost is 1. And fifth step from C, return back to A. Okay. So, here C to A cost is nothing but 6. Okay. So, here the total cost of the tour, if you are considering in the sense that is A to B, B to D, D to C and then C to A. Okay. 
So here A to B cost is 1, B to D cost is 2 plus D to C cost is 1 plus 6. So here we will get total cost of the tour is 10. Okay. But if you are considering the optimal tour, okay, that is the minimum cost we have to get it. That is nothing but the optimal tour. Optimal tour if you are considering in the sense it is A to B cost is 1. B to C cost is 3, C to D cost is 1 and D to A. So, that cost is 3. So, totally here we will get it as 8. This is nothing but the optimal tour. But if you are implementing this nearest neighbor algorithm, we are getting the total cost of the tour is 10. So, here if you are considering the approximation ratio, actually we get the total cost of the tour is 10. But our optimal tour is 8 according to this given graph. So, approximation ratio is nothing but 1.25. Okay. So, here if you are considering this is 25 percentage larger than the optimal tour. So, this is the main disadvantage in nearest neighbor algorithm. But if you are considering the procedure to implement, it is very easy to implement. It comes under the combinatorial problems. It is very difficult to solve when the procedure is too lengthy to solve to find the optimal tour. But if you are implementing this nearest neighbor algorithm, it is easy to implement. But if you are considering in the sense, always for all the problems, we won't get the optimal tour. That is the main drawback in nearest neighbor algorithm. But the procedure is easy to implement. Okay. Approximately, we will get the value nearest to the optimal tour. And this drawback we can able to overcome with the help of the next algorithm that is twice around the tree algorithm. Thank you for watching this video.